Hey guys, we're back with our next episode of Fallout 4, our, our, our modded Let's Play. And, um, so, last time what was happening was, uh, we got bombarded by some super mutants on the way back to Red Rocket, and now we're exploring Concord. I didn't show all of these, uh, side buildings just because, um, they're from, they're from Plenty of Exploration mod, but, you know, it's just collecting stuff, and probably nobody cares about that. <laughs> Or maybe my microphone was working and I restarted the episode, so could be that too, huh? But we're in one of these side quest buildings and I'm hearing noises. Like I'm hearing people move around. Like this guy. This is the first one where there are actually people in it. Or creatures. The rest are just empty places. So I find it interesting that this one has uh, ghouls in it. But there's a lot of this collecting cans. And then somebody keeps opening and closing doors and it's freaking me out. Hey, but thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. I appreciate it. My gosh, what's happening? I hear people opening and closing doors. And the ominous music is not helping either. They must be upstairs or something. Is there a way to get upstairs? Uh, this is a discount store. So it's set in the outside anyway. But it's part of the mods, are plenty of storage. Or plenty of exploration, I mean. Obviously, there is. Alright, let's eat. We're hungry. There has to be. There has to be people around somewhere, right? Ghouls, as it were. A whole ton of them, too. By the sound of all this walking going on. This goes back outside. There's alcohol and baskets and radio. Alright. I didn't see stairs back here. So where are we supposed to be running across these other ghouls? This is a secret. Upstairs or something. Something up here. Dandy boy apples, gross. Alright. I'll wait behind this door. Check behind us already. I knew there was an upstairs. Alright, is that it? Ooh, they're trying to scare me. Um, cannot see outside. But yeah, that's the first one there were actually enemies in. The rest, I was just collecting stuff, like mostly cans. There's a couple of adhesive. Got a couple of new antibiotics. So that was pretty much all going on with the game. I think we're good in here now. Hey, there's a terminal. Oh, uh, there was a terminal in one of the other ones from a guy named Michael. He was stalking this girl, and then he said October 23rd is his favorite day, and that's, you know, when the bombs fell. Really? Wow, what a bitch. Tiffany was stealing from him this whole time. I saw her pockets some money for the register yesterday. Who does that? What did, how did, who does it to a, 
poor old man. Though, in her words, decrepit relic, people really do misunderstand the guy. I feel sorry for him. Order number 0245. Oh, oh, two, two times this kind of cigarettes, one times ten box of cram, three times this bottle of cola. Opening up. Richard told me last day about his past, about his wife. They, they met when they were 20. He was doing some decorating for her father. For her father and ended up pitting it off. They shared the dream to open and replace their own eventually and decided it would, it would be good to do it together. Her name was Sophie. She got her father to agree to supply them with cigarettes and use his connection to get his friend to give them cheap stuff too. So after a few years, they managed to get it all set up and running. Which Sophia celebrated by giving Richard a pack of very limited and expensive cigars, which she was very grateful for, as that was the first gift she gave him. It was rough, but they were pulling through, each day growing more popular. They were doing well for themselves many years later but were halted massively when a much bigger store opened near that sold much more than they did. This crippled their business. Years went by yet again, as if time itself didn't have time to spare for the two. They were now old, and Sophie was gravely ill. The, de the dream was dead. Sophie was bedbound, but wanted to be at the store all the time. So Richard had a bed room renovated, a room where I typed this now. Sophie told Richard that he must carry a torch and succeed in their dream as long as he was the one to accomplish his dream. Then it would be the same as her revealing her own. Due to how busy they were and how cruel time had been, they never got a chance to marry one another. One more slip of the time and Sophie could barely speak. She was suffering greatly and couldn't bear it. When Richard went upstairs to check on her, he da daily she asked him something that haunts him to this day. He never told me what she said other than she died shortly after. No wonder why he seemed so distant old. I wish I could help him achieve his dream. I really do. What is his dream? Well, Richard told me today, or rather declared, I'm shutting down the store. Today's my final day. Can't say that I... I'm not devastated as I tried to convince him not to. He told me not to worry. I did my dream long ago. Goodbye, Richard. Take care, please. I didn't tell her, but the doctor said I only have a few days left. Old age is fun, especially when you have nobody to get things with. I have no idea how long exactly, but I feel that I've lived long enough. I'm going to accept and let myself go peacefully. Do you remember the gift you gave me in the first set up our shop? I still have that one left, my last supper, I suppose. Do you? Also remember when you told me to complete my dream and that it would be enough, enough for you. You also told me to be happy and not let it affect me too much. That was cruel. Do you remember when I said my dream was opening a shop too? I lied, not intentionally, but after I met you, things changed. You were my dream. Sorry, but how can I be happy without you? Real happiness doesn't work that way. If someone tells you a joke and you laugh, is that happiness? Yes. If you smile because you see a friend for after a long time, is that happiness? Of course. But true happiness is completely different. To be truly happy, you should easily be able to think, even if I die tomorrow, I have no regrets. Do you remember when I set the ring on your finger when... You're bedridden? I do, sadly. And I can't say I'm truly happy because my dream died with you, taking my happiness with it. I'll die full of regrets, but my death will be the happiest I've ever been in a long, long time because I'll give you an info when I see you on the other side. Wait, just a little longer, Sophie. Interesting. So this is what Michael was talking about, because Michael was um, stalking this girl who worked here, with, and he, they said the old man was cruel, but she figured out he was just sad. And now he's killed himself, apparently. To, you know, be with Sophie. Alright, let's go. all cleared up. I have an air purifier in here, so I think that helped. Yeah, listen, I'm thirsty if you're going to take a long time. Why won't you guys come inside with me? Alright, we're going this way. I think we've been in here already. Nah, we haven't. Yeah, no, we haven't been to stuff on this side. So there's two more doors over this way. All right, let's look in here right quick. <coughs> so you'll see the last two. I, I visited the ones on the way up to this already. They weren't kidding when they said it's a trashed. It's all over, but the cry. That was the music for that. And nobody's crying but you. Dusty terminal. Hey, it's a bed. 
Ooh, one of the most pillows I can put on the beds. Alright, let's save. Let's check the terminal. Let's see it, bub. Well, this house is pretty good, but here are a few out. Been here a few hours and move furniture to make it more defendable. I find. I found a few cartons of kerosene too. Going to have enough to last me for for a few weeks. Then I'll go out and get more. I hope this ends better than the last time. Walking alone in the waste at night, I hear the wind rush through the landscape. Then, I, before I know it, nothing. Pure silence. I start to move back in the direction I'm, I'm, I was heading home, but I made no progress. I start spinning full speed. Nothing. Why do I get, not get closer? It's only over there. It's not far. I hate this. I start screaming, please don't go. I can't take this loneliness, nothing, until I take one more step, then it happens. Home starts to crumble, leaving corpses, releasing the sense of death in the air. I drop to my knees, trembling, and I then wake up, sweat, consuming my forehead. This world is taunting me. It's been a while since I last ended anything. It's been a I've been quite busy searching for fuel and food. It's hard work. I couldn't help notice some terminals and buildings here. Those places are full of stuff. I take what I need for now. I couldn't bring myself to take everything. What if someone else is starving and that would help them live another day? I don't need 50 cans of cream anyway. Like I was saying though, these entries, they're from the old world. They seem to have survived all these years in some sort of capsule intended to speak to us down the line. It shows that they have problems too. They're all such human problems. I can't cope with the word. Where's my dying wife left me? This one in particular did make me sad even though I've been jaded by constant death since I was born. There's some kid who seems creepy and seems to want to get some girl has some problems, but then finally gets a chance to end well though as when I read the bombs dropped the big day. It feels nice to read these entries. They're almost like pockets of information about the world before the start gets the constant hunger. These terminals, they helped me realize something. I saw some plants and grass the other day. I kept bleeding my eyes. It made me realize the world doesn't give a fuck about the war, the past, or the future. It just spins and spins until one day it won't. Nuked? No problem. Give me some hundreds. Hell, it might not even be pretty, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe I don't have to hold up in some house by myself. Maybe. Maybe that's a community that will accept me. I want someone to worry about me and be happy to see me come back. The people of the past moved on, mostly, so I should too. I'm leaving some supplies and light in case someone finds their way here. Tell me, and tell you something, Mr. or Mrs. There's a whole world out there waiting to be discovered. Don't hide away or get hung up in one problem. The world is full of them. This is just proof we ha can make a mark. If you ever find a man named Harris, someone will ask him about this entry. I'll be sure to say hi and offer you some food. Aww. Okay, we gotta look out for Harris, you guys. I don't, kn I don't know who Harris is, but it's nice. He's talking about the other terminals and the other buildings. We heard about Michael, um, and then the, the girl he was chasing, and the old man whose wife died, and then the bombs fell, and then all of it was over anyway. <laughs> Sack the bone. Friends all open. Oh man. I like I enough time to drink water. I don't. We're doing it anyway though. Alright. Hidden. Bottles, bottle caps, cigarettes, and these people and their, and their neighbors. This is a nice place. Don't have to stay, that's true. I agree with him, don't hang around one place and just hide, but... Also, you know, have a home base, have somewhere that you're safe. This doesn't go outside, so let's check it out. There's bears everywhere. Men cats. So many drugs. Which is a good thing, because I could just sell them. Bring her stuff from Trash Can Carla. Get all of her collections of stuff. Wonder when her stuff replenishes. Because I can use more adhesive. We should go back to Diamond City and see what they have there. With all our goodies. No, I don't want to sleep. I want. These caps. Yes, skinny caps. And then we can save here. Alright, anywhere else to go? Up anymore? No, this is as up which we're gonna get, so let's check the terminal. Richard's terminal! 
getting harder. This isn't the first time I told my staff I was going on holiday yet here. Came here. I just wanted a change of scenery to see where we lived and uh, had our last chat, Sophie. The pain you felt, the anguish, the relief. You look at me and ask me to end it. I didn't know how to respond. My wife, my loving wife of all these years, asked me to kill her. No. And they're suffering. Fate was cruel, but love is cooler. I'd rather carry the burden of death than the burden of letting death take its time and pleasure. It was simply a matter of some burdens getting harder to shoulder than others. I don't regret it, but regret does not mean I won't remember. I still remember myself crushing up those pills in your food. Oh, of a way to go. Your favorite meal top would release. Do you do you think one day that I'll get to eat one of your meals again? I hope so. Sophie, it's hard right now. Two staff members, one knew. I told them I'm on holiday, but really I want, I just wanted to be home. I mean, it's a while. I miss you. It isn't going well. They don't like me. I think the girl is stealing. I'm sure of it, but she needed the job. I can't fire her. She has no husband. I heard her say it was the other girl. One bottle of vodka won't be missed. Hell, people usually come either for smokes or on their weeks where they don't have too much money. Those weeks are fine, but the rest awful. Once this week is over, I'll never come back here, and I've remembered and felt enough melancholy for the rest of my days. The store is on its last leg, meaning that uh, are no, your dream is ending, uh, failing, I'm sorry. Even in all the outcomes, I think the place I want to spend my life, I know days is one that we built together. I shall keep trying to push through, but I don't know how long it will last. Calling clicks. My final report is that I went to the doctor last week, and it's been a while since I last checked in. He was the same as ever, Victor. He really hasn't changed since when he was young with us. His face was that of a concerned, heartbroken man. His mouth spoke the words I expected to hear, though. You're dying. Well, it didn't matter because the bomb fell and you all died. <laughs> but yeah, awesome! That's a whole collection of stories, this place is. Hey, did I miss this? Oops, I don't have to die. That goes to the combo, too. Oh, what's in here? Charles Burge Steak Jump. Alright, let's go. There's still more buildings to go into. I'm sure you're all about excitement. But unfortunately, this series is going to be very cautious, even though I die anyway. Even though I'm very cautious. Well, I get, I am cautious, then I start getting impatient. And then, it all goes downhill from there. I just get killed. Sounds like time enough to drink water. Okay, we're back outside. That's that door I can go in. Alright, let's keep going. It's all over Alright. And nobody's crying. Of course you found something. You find the enemies or you find something good? I don't need you to find this for me. I got it. Friends all over. Oh, I'm Okay, this way. Ah, where is it? Okay, this way. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's a check piece. That's gonna be over encumbering. Can't keep you out. No, ma'am, you can't. Alright, we need to go back. Choo. Here it is. Dog meat. Dog meat, dog meat, dog meat. <laughs> Listen, hold some guns for me, okay? And this chest piece. Yeah, let's go back and drop this stuff off. And then we'll be back in here. Yeah, red rocket this way. Red rocket, red rocket. <laughs> La da da dee dum dee doo be doo be doo. Doo ba doo be doo be doo be day. Life could be a tree if I could take you up in paradise up above. If you were to tell me I'm the only one that you love, life. How many people are here? I'm like, I'm absolutely. Why are you unhappy? Get over it. Yeah. Okay, is that growing stuff here? Oh, what? Seems to be growing well. You need to assign someone yeah, to this. What is she doing? Taking a nap. Get to work.
Yeah, work. Not just living here scot free. Right. Get some bullets to get the bub. Are these poison things? Not cool. Do something with this honey lamp. Let's see. I want the full stop. Yes. Um, let's worry about sights first. Yeah, put a medium scope on there. And then, um, give me the. It doesn't matter if it's could eject because we're large because it still will shoot one at a time so alright can we do anything else with our oh we're out of adhesive already and this my friend is why we need adhesive give it a mods please alright that's it dog meat dog meat I need to find you sunglasses, hey, bro. He's we need more rounds as well. Say the word. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Help me. Hey. Could you stop moving? Get over here. Black shit. Come here, right now. Hey, this stuff, thank you. Alright, let's drop it off. And more guns and stuff. Did I get rid of too much? Weapons. Now I got a pipe. Um, 308, 10 millimeter, 44. Now we're good. Alright, let's see. We're gonna go back to Concord. Let's head back to Concord. Concord. That looks like it needs repairing. It's peeing on a lot of smoke, man. Alright, let's go back to this gun. We haven't been in everywhere. These birds. Like, did you see somebody just walking by? Oh, it's a region. I was like, he is just walking by like there's no problems. I mean, I guess not. I guess there isn't any problems. All the raiders around here are dead. So what happens if you don't help right away and you hear gunshots? They get killed eventually. So you don't even need me. I don't know what you're going on about. Oh, that makes this now. Yeah. Come on, come on. Okay, there's just nothing in here, huh? Navia, Navia. Alright, move on then. And this freighter think as well. Doesn't even have a gun. Uh, always check down alleys. Look at this paper just floating around. It's so weird. That's because nobody's around sweeping. I 
like I should be sweeping up this joint and then we wouldn't have little pieces of paper floating around everywhere. Alright, um, there's a building with a door, so we're going in. It's the speakeasy. This is a actual cannon <laughs> building. <laughs> obviously, and there's an upstairs. Restricted area. Oh, there's a downstairs. Oh, there's a safe in here. A safe's in here. Okay, let's... It's advanced. Alright, how about this way? Yeah! Yes! Um, can't keep you out. No, ma'am. It's just another way out of here. Hey, we're almost to our second affinity talk. One more lock picking, and that'll do. Hey, more adhesive. Yes, more adhesive. We're gonna have to start doing armor as well. I guess we're as good as we can get in all our weapons, but we're. I'm about to do a weapons upgrade, but I shouldn't worry about it until I can make adhesive. Alright, that was downstairs. Let's hit it upstairs. It's in here. Oh, lovely bedroom. With some mac and cheese that goes outside. Alright, the other door is locked. She's not gonna like this because it hasn't been two hours. It has to have been at least two hours for her to like it again. But we have time to find somewhere to wait for two hours. I should. Hey, good stuff in here. The good stuff's in here. Oh, laser missile! Oh man, we gotta work on science. Well, that's what I gotta do. I gotta get more scrapper and get more science. If we meet up with the Brotherhood, they'll give me the specialty laser rifle. But excited to see laser rifle. I don't like laser rifles, but they're usually the best in the game. Guns in the game right now. And we'll take it. Well, it's we end, you can make it a pistol, so. Gunslinger works for that. I just don't like it because it's, it's, it's anything blocking it. It doesn't. It doesn't hit because it's a laser. It's not a, a bullet like a ballistics. Hey, up here on the balcony. <laughs> I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. <laughs> Grab that laser musket and help us, please. The mouth is moving, bud. Go and make it. Mm. You next to provision for help? They come by here pretty often, it seems. That's probably how come these people got murked. Because uh, provisioners walking by. Those are my peeps, so you're welcome. I already helped you. I was calling me. Oh, sorry, man. What is this one? 
Alright, and it's it up here. Oh, there's a church. There's some thirsty. Oh, I saw something. Alright, we're coming, guy. I swear. Not this instant, but we're coming. Okay, so the Shepherd's outfit. Where's where's the laser musket? I don't see a laser musket guy. Looks like someone stole it already. Open. Concord Civic Access. Concord Civic Access. We're coming to us where? We're on the way right now. Oh, okay. Hide. Hide. Well, there's definitely stuff in here. I want to hit you in the face. Liberated. Freezing baton. Interesting. There's somebody else around here. Oh, give me this. Oh, here's. Well, I know there's a Mylurk in here, so we're gonna switch the big guns. And we're gonna reload. <laughs> reload! Get some distance fire. Here. Here. Where is it? I've not seen it. Oh, here you are. Oh, that's the way we came from. Sweet. Give me. Okay. Yeah. Taboo tattoos. If you've got an issue of taboo tattoos, permanently unlocking a new, unique fish. Is worth reading? Yes, ma'am. Are you gonna like that? Like that? <laughs> That'll be your next affinity talk. Let's save. Take the pillow with us. We want to sweep on a straw pillow of nobody. Let me just tell you that right now. Get. What are you doing down here, Mr. Raider? Yep. Jump this way and then jump this way and then jump some more. Here we go, we're up. That's on. Hey, day trooper. Uh, and there's a fusion core back here. Oh, tech for spot for the Mr. Handy motto. Alright, go to the other end. Get my spoils from the Mylark. It's just the meats. Alright, is there another way out here? It is. I think the guy over here is some sugar bombs. Alright, eat some millet chops because we hungry. Can I have your sugar bombs, Mr. your guy? Do you need those sugar bombs? No, I need 100% daily value of sugar. Just reload, reload. Okay, you guys are so slow. Alright, we're looking for goodies. Naughty. Could you stop walking? I'm gonna mind my way back around, please. Please! Alright, let's go. I saw somebody walking. Who else? I see you. you. Don't see me though. Yeah, 
Yeah, you good? Yeah, you good. This is before the dev call shows up, and he's down here. Um, but I think he's in a lot of place where... where oh god, he, I sneeze. <laughs> I've never heard her say that. Sneeze, girl. You gotta sneeze, you gotta sneeze. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. There's another exit. Any bones? For sure. Alright, you guys. Let's go down here. Uh, 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 uh. And isn't it gross how you can get oil from bones? Ugh. <laughs> She's gonna like that. She admires me. It's been two hours. We're gonna have a talk. See, that'll make this episode a little interesting, right? Alright, pipes, let's go. Hey, you sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Sure do. Finally. He usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble. I mean, that's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I should turn I, the light I on just so I can see. You still need sunglasses. Wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I'm happy to have you too, Pipes. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> now she's embarrassed. Sweet. That's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? Yeah, let's get out of here. That talk was much shorter than the last one. I appreciate that because I don't have time to do this in here. Oh. oh, dude, we almost missed these stems. And uh, antibiotics, which is the real MVP right there. Alright, I think that's it here, so let's just leave. Oh, yeah, that's, that's where the death sound. lies. <laughs> we definitely don't want to go that way. So, let's go out another exit. And then we're going to drop our stuff off again. And I think that's about it for the exploration outside of the, the museum. Oh, except for the church. We'll stop at the church. Then we'll drop this stuff off at Red Rocket. I think Red Rocket's my real home base because Sanctuary is just too big. And it's much easier to drop stuff off at Red Rocket and roll back out than anywhere else. Oh, there was a. Oh, got my leg! Piper, how'd you get hurt? We were not up high. Did your leg get clapped in this thing? Hey, I appreciate you liking it. Um, let's hit it back to Red Rocket. Uh, instead of running, we're just gonna fast uh, travel. Is it gonna go fast since we're right next door? Or is it gonna go slow like every other fast travel? <coughs> Bum, 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 bum. We shot him down. Yeah, I'm slow. I'm slow. <laughs> Just like any other fast travel. But I think I have enough adhesive to check on some more weaponry upgrades. Look, we got more 45s. We definitely don't need a fusion core. Mr. Handy model. Oh, we gotta go back and drop off our magazine at, at our stand. <laughs> so much drugs in the whole world everywhere. Should do more cooking as well. It's important that we have food on us at all times. Non irradiated food. Mm 
Military fatigues will be very important later on, even though they're blood ugly. They'll be very useful in the future. Easy baton. Um, my laser pistol. Let me see what I can upgrade that to. For now. Laser pistol. What have you found? We've been here a long time. How have you possibly found something? I've said I'm gonna do it. Oh! Long barrel it. Comfort grip. Yes. Yeah, we want a scope. We need science too. Do anything with the muzzle. Which means I'm screwed for. Yeah, let's put the ink pipe to it. Um. Just because it makes it black. And I, I like that. Yeah, that's a great And the barrel, sounds good to me. No, we don't need to step on this. And then my pipe pistol will probably give you some upgrading. Okay. Oh, there's people here. Which means we're in trouble. Why is this place all under attack? We good? We good? Okay, we good. Alright, let's see if we can do anything with clothes. Can we make this... pocketed? No. But we can do painted metal. And let me do the enclave paint on that's free. Yeah, we need more armor for this. We're out of adhesive again. Oh, let's, the, let's hit the enclave plate. What are you doing? Seriously. The people are like you're getting whooped. Gross. Alright, we got raiders. Okay, so I'll take all your stuff. Any more fools? Any more dumb dumbs? Trying to attack us? I thought not. Anyway, we're gonna cook. So let's do that. <laughs> well, we can go for some... No, I don't want to get rid of You guys stay young. Some good Myerlicks. Bates. Yeah, yeah that we are. Oh, we're almost in this level, so we might as well get that. <laughs> so close. There it is. Alright, we're, we're heading to science. I should use more snake. I want to head to science. Still there's gonna be two levels, so maybe I will No, go ahead. Because I have the laser pot pistol now. I'm um, at level 15, which is when the stuff starts happening in the game. Alright, let's get a good sleep in. Seven hours. <laughs> now what? Insomnia. Don't give me that insomnia junk. Let's put some stuff over here. Put the rush mile up here. And the real stick over here. And the Yagua Wibs up here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I meant to go to the church first, but I forgot about it. So we'll hit the church on the way back in. <laughs> You're like, just please do the pressing thing. Like, nobody asks to do the pressing thing. I love how we can see Corvega from everywhere. There it is. Mechanical Menace. If you went and did Automatron right now, you would get murked so hard, so fast, so often, 
wouldn't be funny. So I don't know why they give you that at level 15. It was, you can't win at level 15 for that quest. I've been in here, right? Yeah, I've been in this week, please. Alright. Like I said, the only thing left, we've been underground. Let's hit the church. And then save these pitiful people. <laughs> There's five of you. Like, all y'all have a gun. How about you do some fighting? Same for, like, the Brotherhood and stuff. Like, why do you need me? There's, like, a million of you. Go in. Guns are blazing. A billion of you. You can't lose. Okay. So, definitely this side, but not all the way. Alright. This way? This way, that's too much. Freaking expert lux. I do. Yep. <laughs> I got it. Ooh, pre warm money. Just to know. Okay. Hey, Piper likes that. That's why it's pretty easy to get her affinity, because every time you unlock something, and it's been two hours, she goes up. Look at this bird bird on the roof. Will I die if I fall from this place? <laughs> Good question, probably. No, we lived. Alright, let's hit it. <laughs> Museum of Freedom! Jack and Apes! Hey, that'll be the end of this episode. I should be able to finish this part, right? Shouldn't take more than 15 minutes to explore this building and kill everybody and kill the death claw. See around. Don't see anything this way. And then there's some bodies here. The other one's on this side of the fence. I could walk around, but how about we just go to the fence? Got it. This is where he usually hangs out. Resets. Yeah, can I can carry something if you need me to. I'm good for now. Appreciate you offering the pipes. Now I got some business. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Hey, there's a door and some adhesive. Never leave the adhesive. You understand? You understand. More adhesive. The way I'm, 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 I like it. So a lot of modded games you get stuck if you try to open this terminal. So I'm gonna open this door like this. I'm still gonna try the terminal, but I'm gonna save after I open this door. In case we get stuck. Give me the door. Alright, to save, I need to go to the cheat terminal and hit up game moderation, survival manipulation, and request to save. And we're safe. We're hungry, so what are we gonna go for first? Smart chips. And rabbit. Oh, I didn't do a rabbit at the ship. Okay. Let's hit the terminal. See how he's walking around? See how she's walking around like a maniac? Ah, we did. Yay. Value. Zero. Value. Storm. Storm's got one. Alright, let's start getting rid of stuff. Storm, 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 storm. Storm has one. Value spent. Nice. Hey. I've already unlocked this kid. Yes, we can. Remember that two if I see. Look at the Have your team at you, Check in apes. Check in apes. 
No more British occupation. Alright, let's hit it back to hidden. I'm gonna go this way first. Look for some goodies. Okay, what's over here? Good. 308 round. Always good to see 308s. And this guy we killed. Guess I'll take all your stuff. Thank you so much. Let's upgrade these. Yes, all the goodies, please and thank you. Just looking for Edison, look at that one. Alright, the other side, please. Take these broken wings. Ring of your room and fly so high. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. It's not a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. Wow. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Come here, bitch. Come on. How dare you break my arms. Uh, this calls for if I can not go. What do you want? Watch. How dare you throw mollies at me? Excuse me. Shotgun, definitely don't want it. I've picked up missiles, which I super don't want. So tough. I'm gonna I'm switch. coming in there, and I'm gonna stand every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. Ooh. I remove. Huh? What was that? There you ah! are. There you're dead. Just give me a minute to look around, bub. E gaps. Which, this should, this place should be super looted, because I don't know what you're doing here if you're not. I mean, I guess you're having to hide. This guy have more mollies to be shooting at me? No. Just the guy downstairs has mollies, huh? In here. Shut up, I'm coming. Excuse me. Ow. Shut up in this refrigerator for the dandy boy. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Shut up. Cubby. Oh. Let's see, we got goodies in here. You're trying to make me skip it. Alright, we're coming. Magazine's on the ground. Why is it not there? Rocco Fun. You collect an issue of Rocco Fun. Issue includes the Atomic Command Halt. And I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Name's Dahlia. Preston Garvey. Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe? Sure. Glad to have. No. Nope. Pipe Well, right. if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. There's my bobblehead. Okay. Please, go on. Tell me about uh, it. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. You got three people killed yesterday? First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sounds Sorry. Rough. Sounds really rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that ain't it's it. good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, maybe? Well, we do have one idea. 
Nope. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell it. There's, There's a crash vertebrate bird bird up on the roof. roof. Old, Old school, school. pre-war. You, you might have seen, seen it. it. Well, looks, looks like, like one of its passengers left, left behind a seriously sweet, sweet goodie. goodie. We're talking a full, full suit, suit of cherry T-45 power armor. armor. Military, Military issue. issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. So, spoiler alert for you people who Get really want to play this from the beginning. You can and be rip blind, the minigun right off like the vertebrate. This guy's Do a that. Sick. And those raiders get an express There's ticket to hell. Every you dig? outfit that you meet. Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I already got it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor, and grab pepper. that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. For increasing their affinity. Good luck. We're almost at 60% already. Yeah, you want me to lock this? Move aside. Ding, ding, ding. Hmm. It's a coffee cup. What do you think it's for? To eat, to drink the coffees. Level. Okay, Trail's got one. Bang. Bang's got two. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of some. F R A M E. Try to be it. But I already did try. No, I did Trail. Uh, F R A M E. F R A M E. F R A M E. Snare so could also be it. Uh, bees, F R A M E, no. But I found some stuff. So reset my tries. There it is. Snare. Uh, oh. F R A M E, F R A M E, F R A M E, F R A M E. I don't see anything else. The one I thought it was, it got rid of. Right. It's not framed. Not these. I know it's not. I already tried snare and it's not snare. Oh, it's flash. Log entries. After I was time foolery. For the last time, the red coat mannequin displays are not toy soldiers and are not to be played with after hours. Two of them have scuffed paint, and this morning one of the foot regiment pieces were missing, was missing his arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behavior will be written out, docked an hour's pay, and charged for damages. Chief Curator Harold Nash. Roaches in the basement. Someone get maintenance down in the basement to deal with the road problem. Do it now, on the down low, while the museum is open. Discretion is key. We cannot afford to close the museum again, nor... Is it acceptable for a child to find a cockroach in her hair as she's learning about taxation without representation? The situation must be resolved immediately. Anchorage is in it. After meeting with the director and head of trustees, I'm afraid I must deliver some rather dire news. Our planned Anchorage exhibit has been put on indefinite hold. It's simply not within the museum's budget at this time to make the renovations necessary to accommodate such an ambitious endeavor. My thanks to the curatorial and maintenance teams for all the work that has been done thus far. Final entry. On the day the bombs fell. This is Megan Hayes. I'm the tour guide here at Concord Museum of Freedom. I'm so scared. When everyone saw the flashes that they left, but even Mr. Nash, he just ran away and left me here, jerk. And then when those army helicopter things crashed into the roof, I saw soldiers, but they looked freaked out. I just hid from them. I've only been in Massachusetts a month, and I don't really know anyone, and I don't know where to go. I broke the lock of the curator's desk and took the gun. I'm, I'm going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days until they he's gone down. If someone reads this, please come find me. But if you try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. 
What's that for? Who's slappy? Hey, I'm gonna do Will Smith and slap you. <laughs> what a dumb move. You gonna sit down next to Mama Murphy? Let's talk to Mama Murphy. Ma'am, you're <sighs> not what I expected dog meat would find in that little neighborhood. Like a buffet, Piper. I know you love. But, oh, so much better. He's a good He's dog. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I knew Pepper liked I that. I saw it. Uh, what did you see? Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> In the crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. In that way, You've been taking Kim a since you were a girl? That's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. Yeah, what is it? And it is pretty angry. Right now. Let's talk about that, too. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. To death claw. <laughs> the sight ain't always clear. I have the sight, too. But believe Man, I've really lived this life tell you, like Groundhog Day. It ain't a radar. As a man and a woman and all in between. <sighs> but I'm tired now. Okay. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Man, what are you waiting for? I mean, you should be real happy right now that I'm here to help you. Because otherwise, what are we going to do? You can even get into the security gate. I meant to read that. Maybe we can read it for this. Mm, inspect. Perception bobblehead. It gives me one thing of perception. Uh, While well, we're at the hour here, so I'm gonna finish the episode here and do this, the Death Claw and stuff for the next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. Until next time, you know what I'm gonna say. Let me tell them. Peace.